zoom he went, did he? We're going to start off town and city, grand finals. Yumu winner's side. Let's see what he's got on this man. He's beaten him twice, at least. Yumu is, I know, a pretty defensive player. Very smart when he picks his times to go in. But that will be a very early stock for Tyroy. And I gotta wonder about Town and City here. I know Diddy it's it's a very common Diddy stage, but I, I don't I don't know about against Bayo. You're putting a lot of pressure on your ability to escape those combos. But he's not too far behind. He's consistently doing well in neutral, as would be expected and hoped. I mean, Diddy being a king of neutral and not so much uh, explosive character. Which time on the banana is nasty. And just which time it, even if it's sitting on the ground. But as long as you move spaces it right, you won't get. You won't get slowed down, at least. It's still very good. You still got those iframes off of which time. Very good answer to Banana. This is the classic up tilt. He's got, uh, he's got some w ways to go, though. And he's got to just pretty much grind at it. Gonna have to avoid everything Tyra is gonna throw at him and just keep smacking him and not get hit by that. Tyro takes game one. You were gonna stick with Diddy. I would guess for at least this set. Goes to Battlefield. I, I like this more. I think this is a good pick. This is not a good position at all. But he's still got all his resources, so he's going to make it back. Pound for pound, competing with Bayo is just is just tough because he's gonna have to deal a lot of damage on his hits or just get way more to compensate for the amount of damage he's taking. Even if he doesn't get killed by Bayo combos, he's still gonna take like considerable amount of damage. You see that here, he's down by quite a bit. He's got him on the ledge. Tries an angel drop, I think, but Tyroy is not quite a uh, not quite as dominant here. He's got um he's got a pretty even, except there's a witch time. Yumu's got a while yet before he's going to be able to take a stock safely. 
Unless he just like throws out an F smash, but I don't even know if that'll kill. Nope. One more of those will do it. Not quite up tilt range yet. Unless he gets it right here. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Up tilt on the platform. Gonna take it a little earlier. But he is, again, down by a considerable amount. Pretty much the same as last game. Got to be careful with these aerials. I, I can feel it. I can feel it coming. Oh, he, tr he tried. He tried. So hard to keep Bay on the ledge. Even for Diddy. Gonna get another shot and another banana down air. These pseudo angel drops here. Just getting damage, but it's better than nothing. Now we're in that range where he's gonna have to worry about the uh, the dab kick and the ab, ab kick? I don't think anyone calls it that. After burner kick. Oh, yep. That is why. When that starts killing, it's just so dangerous because there's so much space that Bayo controls just by having those two options. And then you've got down tilt and up tilt and eventually forward throw. But you sort of like ZSS in that until you get to that percent, there is a little bit of a percent where it's like, you've got witch time, you've got your uh, witch twist combos as always, but other than that, you know, you, you can live a little, a little while. Just not get the down air. I actually did not know that the down air wasn't true off that. Tyroy looking to cleanly reset bracket here. And he is well on his way to doing that. And I do wonder that if, if, if he does reset bracket, if we're going to see a switch maybe to Martha Lucina, Yumu's other main character that I know of. Obviously, you have Diddy, who is decent at this matchup, and Martha Lucina not really particularly good. Yep, that'll be a reset there for Tyroy. Very clean. We'll go into the true grand finals. The actual last set. It has been a long day. This is a historic construct. 70 entrants for Smash 4. Tons of melee, tons of PM. This room is not that big. <laughs> there there was... We, we filled it to the gills. There's a good witch time to start off here. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, he's just going to get damage. But he's still going. He... Okay. Alright. That was a lot of damage. So Yumu did stay Diddy. Got him on the ledge again. I think that's that's really where he's got to he's got to take the advantage there and it, I, it's it's very difficult but I feel like he's getting he's getting the opportunities pretty frequently but 
Tyro's escaping every time with minimal damage. But this is pretty even. Not opting for a banana pull here, just uh, going straight in. Going in raw. That's not quite going to do it, but that was a good confirm. Should see one more that will kill here. Wow. That was an early up tilt. Town and City paying off there. And Yumu really with, uh, I, th I think, the first lead here. So, staying confident in his ditty. Might pay off, but that spot dodge, not going to get him out of a Witch Time Punish. Almost. Tyro waits it out. And that is the rough thing about Banana. I guess that's probably why he's not using it as much. Tyra with another witch time. It's not going to get too much. Now, Yumu, interestingly, kind of being a little aggressive here. With the lead, he's... Uh, not forcing approach quite as much as I would think, but that could be that could be good though, because you know Bayo is not maybe the best at approaching, but you still don't want to just give her the advantage. And Yumu is going to take the first game of these sets. We're heading out. All right, so it looks like that'll do it for me. Uh, I'm going to see if we can find another commentator. Finish this out. We got to go. All right. All right so uh, I'll be signing off. Uh, Rickles will be finishing out this commentary. Hey, what's up, Chicago? It's Rup from Rickles right here with uh, some Chicago commentary game two set to... Here we are, Tyro versus Yumu. Let's see if he can get another PGR win right now, or if Tyro is going to take it all home. Projected first seed, so let's see what we got here in Wisconsin. Very interesting tournament, man. So uh, we got a lot of that crews. We got Diddy Kong versus the Bayonetta. And we got Tyro landing a Witch Time and see how he can convert off of this. Uh, I think personally, Tyro's got one of the craziest punish games among Bayonetta's, which is why he's like, you know, a higher level Bayonetta. But again, Yumu did take the set off of him earlier, putting him into losers. Oh, and Yumu's up a game, so this is actually really crazy. Uh, Yumu just two games away from winning Construct 100. It's a really good event today here in Wisconsin, St. Francis, Wisconsin. Uh, if you're from the Chicago area, I definitely recommend it, because, ooh, just a little bit short off that stock on that witch time. I definitely recommend it, because it's like an hour and a half from my house in the northwest suburbs of Illinois. And it gives you a chance to play a different scene, which I think is really important. Because if you're going to the same weekly every week, playing the same people, uh, I don't know. There's a lot to gain from going out of state and playing other players. And uh, we definitely got to see it. I mean, I think Yumu strictly played Chicago players all the way here. <laughs> uh, oh, no, he beat Ventra in semis. But he beat me and he beat Unibrownies, which is the carpool. And he got beat Tyroy. So he literally got a set on the whole carpool. Um, and, again, just two games away from beating Tyroy, who's ranked 40 in the world. But Tyroy is up in this game, so we can see a 1-1 situation. Yuma's got to find an answer to this first stock, this first Bayonetta stock. And like I said, these guys are my carpool, so I can't go home until they're done. So... Let's see what we got here. The up tilt taking the first stock. Shades of Marshall from earlier on tonight. Uh, I know Marshall likes the up tilt. Great move on Diddy Kong's kit. A great way to confirm a kill at that percent.
All right, what we got here? The jab. Does it not finish the jab? It gets some bullets out there. Uh, this is still very doable for Yumu because uh, Diddy Kong has one of the best spikes in the game. And so does Bayonetta. Yeah, these are two of the best characters in the game going at it. And who else would you expect to see in Grand Finals but top tier characters at this event? With, with really good characters. I mean, we had a lot of Wisconsin PR come out. And uh, this is the, t the top and the bottom of Chicago's PR. I think Chicago is number two. And Yumu is uh, he's number 15 in Chicago. Going back and forth, uh, gotta be a little careful. I think a witch time will seal the game. So uh, you always gotta think that. You think, how can I die right now? And I think both players gotta keep that in mind. But Diddy has fewer options, I think, because of the percent differences. Um, uh, and I, I think a Diddy Kong forward smash would do it, Diddy Kong downer would do it. But he doesn't have much besides that. And uh, that's great. Uh, it's an option that Tyra really opts for. Is the bayonet a down tilt while reaching for those back ears? Because he can uh, really trap Diddy Kong in his air dodges right there. He's able to whiff the first back here, but still hit him with the back here. Get a lot of stage control. Maybe the stock if he gets the sweet spot. So just playing back and forth. A little bit of rolling right here. Uh, a lot of careful play between these two players because this is for taking Construct 100, which is like, I think it's like a 70-ish man bracket and a $100 pop bonus on the line. And Tyra absolutely wants to take it all as he takes that game. So we're in a 1-1 situation. Whoever takes two more games will win Construct 100 Smash 4 singles. And Tyroy definitely is a veteran in this Diddy Kong matchup, having played JJ Rockets very frequently. And uh, just a lot of Diddy Kongs in general. I remember his combo breakers run of last year had him fight, like seated to fight like four different Diddy Kongs where he beat the majority of them. I think he might have beaten all of them actually. Uh, I can't remember. No, he lost to MVD, I think. And uh, he definitely lost to MVD in winners. I'm not sure who he lost to in the losers bracket. Might have been 8-bit man. No, no, he... he I, I don't remember. But that was combo breaker last year. This is Tyroid right now. Taking the first stock in game three. Making a statement. Getting one stock closer to the victory. There we go. Get some combos, get some early percent. Uh, all the extra credit matters right here. Because we're getting closer and closer to the end of the tournament. And it's really hard for Yumi to lose that first stock. And missing, going overextending, I think, on that down air. I think that's why Diddy Kong's typically out for up throw to forward air or up throw to, uh, you know, back air or up throw to up air. Uh, down air, just a little bit more startup. Or maybe it's true. Oh, he's done. That's a two stock right there. Uh, Yumu laughing it off. Uh, he's still in this. By no means he's out of this. He's got to take two more games. He's already taken four, at least four on Tyroid today. So he's got to take two more if he wants to see himself winning this tournament. But it's a very hard task to do. Tyroid uh, coming from the loser's bracket. And then now they're both in the losers. Yumu taking a drink of water because this possibly could be the last game. Or we might see one more afterwards. I'm noticing this, uh, these new overlays. I'm not sure if they're new to Construct 100 going forward because I feel like I didn't see these last week. I don't know. What, what is, what, is it brand new for today? Yeah, it looks tight. So, yeah, Grand Final set to Tyroy up 2 1. Just one game away from taking it, but Yumu not out of this yet. Ooh, Yumu's got to, definitely got to be careful off stage because that's how he's able to secure the last two stocks of the last game, getting the gimp on those barrels recovery. Hitting Diddy Kong out of his barrels, just making him unable to charge and recover safely. So he's, he wants to avoid that if he wants to stay alive. Here we go. Tyra getting the combo started with that up tilt, finding some good damage, closing the percent gap.
There we go. Gets the forward throw for the stage control. A decent amount of knockback on that, but doesn't really see it as a kill throw until about like 140. Right, so careful back and forth. This matchup is a very patient matchup, uh, and it's really momentum based on whoever can manage to take the first stock. Uh, that's a big part of Smash 4 in general, honestly. In the two stock meta, obtaining the first stock, especially against top players, man, it's it's huge. Like when a top player fights a top player and you get the first stock. It's sometimes it's really impossible to seal the first one uh, and come from behind, and then they just get a ton of extra credit, and you find yourself in a hole. So game four, this grand final set two, uh, Yumu almost getting that first stock, but Tari managing to slip out of that up smash from Diddy Kong. Ooh, he actually read that, but I, that's the thing about which time is like even if he does it, you can't grab it. You actually have to wait for the end of it to punish it. So the up tilt was unable to connect despite, despite being there as a hitbox. Oh, that's gonna do it for him. Oh, not enough char not enough time on that witch time actually. The max rage up smash would have sealed the stock. Uh, Bayonetta seeping with rage right now, 150 plus percent. Yeah, no witch time time left. Oh, up air. Yumu finding the first stock right here. One stock closer to finding this game five and possibly the last game of the tournament, or this could be it right here. It's how has something to say about it. Oh, patience on that monkey flip, but he's not able to catch the landing. And this is it. This is where the extra credit begins. Will he get more than 5%? Because Diddy Kong needs a lot of extra credit on Bayonetta to do what Yumu did in winner's finals. In game five, he took the first stock and got a lot of extra credit. So if he can do that again, he can do it. Nope. What's he going to do it? Yep. Up smash will do it. He had not wished time for a very long time, so we kind of reset the timer on that. So here we are into the uh, last stock of Game 4 of Grand Final Set 2. What are we going to see next? Uh, is Yumu going to take this to a Game 5, or is Tyroi going to take it home right now? There we go. We're racking up the percent. Yumu playing very careful. Uh, getting very patient on his banana pulls as well. All right, here we go. Yumu getting the grab punish on that grounded side B from Bayonetta. The side special is very punishable if whiffed. One of Bayo's more punishable options if you think you can get it. If your character has the uh, frame data to, you know, get in there. Ooh, getting Diddy Kong at a disadvantage. Bayonetta's neutral air, a really great tool. Chasing him off stage. Going for the GIMP, going for the tournament set right there. Uh, ooh, what's he gonna do? Combo starter, down tilt. Breaks out of it with the back air. Yumu not out of this yet. What's he gonna do? Another back air from the combos. I'm liking uh, what Yumu's doing right there. Punishing Tyroi for comboing him. Not a lot of characters can do that to Bayonetta. All right, here we go. Yumi, we just one good read away from a game five, but so is Tyroy from uh, closing this tournament. Either way, Chicago goes home in victory at Concept 100, Smash 4, and I get to go home. So, uh, what we got? Here we go. I love that pivot grab, then back throw. Uh, really mixes up the DI, and that's a huge thing when you get grabs too, is to not pummel, because like if you do the instant throw, it just mixes up the DI. They're not able to react with the back air. It will do it. And that's going to be it for Construct number 100, Smash 4 Singles. We got E2C Tyroy coming from the loser's bracket over Chicago's Yumu. Uh, give it up for him, man. Uh, $100 pop bonus for singles.